Well, we head back to Club and Angle on Tuesday afternoon for a very strong eight event card. I'm kicking off the first of the specials in race three. Someone who certainly owes us a win or two, and that is Parallel. He's had two solid placings here recently and then had no luck here last week. He was having a nice cosy run, three pegs, minding his own business, and got shuffled back in a traffic jam to five pegs as they passed the 500 metres mark. Flew home over the concluding stages to run fifth. Was beaten four metres by Go Away Again, and after the race, Robbie said he should have won the race. So I'm sticking with Robbie Morris in parallel in the third event on the card. And we over to race four of the Callum, going with Rock and Roll Hammer, the former Kiwi, who was costly on debut for Blinder and Luke McCarthy. He started odds on, he was dictating the terms until about the 200 metres mark, and he suffered from a leg locking up. Luke was able to balance him again. He freed himself from that situation. Rock and Roll Hammer went to the line over the final stages to finish fourth behind Manly Mack. Only beaten one and a half metres. He should have won, no doubt whatsoever. So Rock and Roll Hammer was certainly going to be the one to beat in race four on the card. Moving over to race five, the star bet on the card is Alta Orlando finds himself at a Tuesday meeting. He hasn't started since the 10th of December when unplaced in the Inter-Dominion Consolation, which was won by Jellyby Sylvester. But Alta Orlando beautifully graded in his field, and he is the star bet on the card. Moving over to race seven, and Lebowski for Brad Hewitt. Now, this particular former Kiwi match she was very impressive in winning on two occasions for Brad at Wagga. She then had her first outing here at Club Angle a couple of weeks ago. Came from well back in proceedings and was beaten in the nose by Punaway. No doubt with one more stride, Lebowski keeps her undefeated record on this side of the Tasman intact. So Lebowski certainly will take a power of a beating when it comes to the running of race seven. Then moving over to the last and a former Emma Stewart trained performer in Beach Villa. Has trolled nicely for Belinda and Luke McCarthy. Looks beautifully graded in this particular event despite resuming from a break. Beach Villa should end the proceedings on a winning note for punters. So they're my thoughts for the Club Angle meeting here on Tuesday. Until next time around, good punning.